secret of the number nine? <laughs> it's not a secret. <laughs> you know, number nine stands for a completion of, or end of a cycle, particularly a spiritual cycle. So again, what's the context? What's the color you saw it in? You know, that's you know too general of a question. I can only give you a very general answer. Okay. Um, another person asked the question, what does the time 333 mean? They said to keep waking up at 3.33 a.m., and they want to know your take on this. Hey, guess what? I get the same thing happening to me. 333. Okay, let me explain background. Between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. every night in every time zone is when the heaviest mind control ELF and microwave is transmitted to the surface to humanity because it is assumed oh. it's assumed that most people will be asleep and then they can download them easily the side effect is they wake them up because then when you wake up it resets the program that they just downloaded so 333 is a it's a, a perfection or creation it perfects and completes what they just downloaded in you wow use violet use brown merger please people Use the deprogramming techniques. That's why I wrote about them, so that you would use them. Wow. I mean, this is, man, that, this, is, this is this crazy story. It's like, it's like basically like there is a conspiracy out there to it's, really. Yes. Yes, it's brilliant. And it didn't start yesterday. They've been doing this for a long time. They know every angle, every nuance. They're brilliant in how they do this. Um, Parchment asked the question, um, what is your opinion on the pineal, the pineal gland and, and DMT? I don't know what the DMT stands for. Do you know what that means? Yes, and I actually, listen, it's a very complicated subject. I'm going to tell that person to please go on my website, go to my Q&A archives and look that up, and you will see a lot of information on that. Okay. <laughs> it must be really complicated. Well, because, uh, you know, there's a lot of artificial uh, drugs out there designed to open up the pineal gland, supposedly, and allow spiritual experiences to occur. And I don't believe in taking uh, external items to do that. I think you need to use your own mind to open up your own uh, inner self. Wow. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. I, I mean, um, now I do understand that the pineal gland itself is uh, probably encrusted and hardened probably, probably by the time you're 12 years old. Well, that depends on what you've taken uh, medication and food and where you live and what toxins have been around you. But yes, uh, most people have a blockage around their pineal gland. Uh, but there are ways to uh, open that up. Sea salt baths, frankincense oil, using the color royal blue, using your T-bar balance and your brown merger symbol. There's a lot of ways to correct all of these things if you if you do them. Right. Um, geez, what's up with you guys and these numbers? Um, somebody asked the question, what about 855 numbers in dreams? Numbers in dreams. You mean eight, the, number the number 855? Five. I would need yes. to know the context. That could be an alter code. That could be a trigger code. Uh, that could be a whole bunch of things. That's not enough information to decipher. Okay. Now, I want to um, hurry up and, and touch back to these um, these other these, these other beings. You, you got me stuck on that, that whole mm -hmm. thing behind the Kuiper belt. I'm stuck on that. <laughs> you well, know I'm stuck you know, on that. People, people need to look at that because that's a major uh, event that's occurring. It's major. Um, one person asked, um, do you think that any major quakes in California is going to happen soon? Any minute. It could happen at any moment. They are happening. Tell the person to look at the earthquakes at the Salton Sea. On a daily basis, there are hundreds of what we call micro quakes fracturing pretty soon it's going to crumble. We have the Pacific plate subducting up underneath the North American plate, and it's crumbling everything west of the San Gabriel Mountains. And it's going to split the area from
from the Salton Sea to the Gulf of California open, which is the way it used to be anyway, and that's going to open right to the ocean. Man, that is just, I mean, and you heard about the swarms that are taking place over at Yellowstone too now, right? Yeah, over 2,000 quakes in the last 10 days. You know, that's very disturbing because yeah, I'm is. thinking to myself, God forbid if that thing ever blows, the whole planet is a wrap. It's a wrap for the whole planet, mm -hmm. you know, if that thing blows. I'm just, I'm just sitting up here thinking like. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to tell you that I don't believe it's going to be a cataclysmic eruption, but it will be significant. That's what but you got. That's what you. Yeah, but I'm more concerned about Mount Rainier, Mount Baker, Mount Hood. Uh, those I'd be more concerned about right now. And uh, Lake Mammoth, uh, Mammoth Lake in California, very volatile at the moment. There's a lot of you know, Stuart. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of volcanoes that are erupting like all over the planet right now. That's right. That's right, and it's getting worse. Because the tectonic, I mean, yeah, go ahead. The tectonic plates are grinding more than ever before.